Yeah, I put the sound of the heart beating in the womb. Now it's the third day of the win of the procedure, and for the first time, they stayed longer together, the twins. And so it was just amazing. I'm so happy, so proud of them because now I put for the first time, like I put both together. Because before I was putting both together, but when they start crying, I just took one and just separated both, right? But one in, in the paid play and another one in the crib, in the bedroom. But now I'm trying slowly today, on the third day, now it's four o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm trying slowly come back to the routine. What is the routine? We do the co bedding, yeah? And it is it's very healthy for them because the the unique from the twins is that they are not just two babies, totally different. They are two babies with lots of connections and they regulate it one another. There's lots of regulation since the they born even before they're born inside the womb, right? Yeah. And during the whole development. And like one is very when one of them is very agitated, another one is very calm. Then what's my movement right now in winning off, right? And then the, the suitor. Now, in the, in the end of this afternoon, we put, we put both together in the, in the playpen. Even that, I knew that they will cry, even both. But I knew too that one of them is more strong about, uh, yeah. That don't care so much, like care, but you no, know, like the the first one, like Yantina care way more about the sooner than Felicia. Both they are very dependent yet from the sooner, but they are not. We are on the third day without sooner, right? And now uh, that's very unique and beautiful. Now they are not using sooner like he, uh, Felicia. She got the the cloth that they gave and the. Uh, it's it's kind of giraffe, right? And the Andina, she has a, she have a sheep, but she has a sheep. But the big thing is, uh, Felicia, she start to make the transition and she use the cloth, like for play with the cloth or, or put in her mouth. But the Andina, no, she's just still thinking about only the sooner she couldn't make this this other object like to put like in place in the place of the sutra but now for the first time i put all the both of the babies together for a long time just what we say long time like 20 minutes more or less um then i, I changed their diapers and we had the, the play time and now i put them and i put the sound of womb and the heart and i of course, you know, we have a, it's not hot now, it's a very cooler, and I put children, they have a toy that have been classical music for five minutes only, I put together with the womb beside, and I put both together, and I say, and when they're crying, I just try to be calm, and I say, okay, I will not touch them right now, I will just say that I am here, I am close by, I am folding some clothes, that's okay. And they are just together, and they start, uh, both start crying, and I say, I'm here, mom's here, I'm just busy, folding some clothes, organize some, organize, clean up your toys, it's just fine, it's okay. Then uh, Felicia, she, start, she, she really starts to... Uh, to get ready to sleep, but the internet she was still fuzzy, right? I kept trying to, to, to find a sewer and to trying to find her finger, her thumb, and she was more agitated, but all the time she was looking to Felicia. Felicia was calm and she was still agitated, then she calmed down, and after she got agitated again, she started crying, and she looked to the Antina and she started, like, it was just this movement, right? learning with one another and Yantina both touch their hands it's beautiful too and they're like uh, Felicia tried to both they made lots of eye contact lots 
and even before they start crying they, they were laughing because I put them before they start to be cranky and crying because they wanted to sleep right just before when they were still happy and I'm still speaking uh, not so loud because they're sleeping but yeah and after these 20 minutes more or less they now saw the the Tientina, she's still crying and her she stop and continue and start stop and start. Then because Felicia started sleeping very well and like a deep sleep, I didn't want to interrupt that too. And I saw okay, now maybe it's time for her to take out Tientina and just leave a Felicia more time. Then I took her Tina and I put the, I went to with Tina to her bedroom. And now I, I do I did something different. Instead, I just put her in my kangaroo like I did on the first day, second day, and today in the morning. Now I just put her in my pillow and I was just beside her. I give hugs, I give kisses, and I don't feel and she's still crying, crying, crying. I say okay. Then I said okay. I just rock, but it's not inside like the, the kangaroo, right? The cloth, the big cloth. Because I still I wanted I want us for like this transition. I want that she sleep rocking, but does not need to be in the kangaroo. Then now she slept. Both are sleeping. We still have yeah a dog outside that sometimes bark and her. But yeah, both are sleeping. They're not sleeping yet together, but uh, they did uh, a big step today. Like this afternoon, they, they did a big step. Like in the beginning of the afternoon, they slept without my help. Both, like one in the big lane and one in the crib, but both start crying and they couldn't keep regulated one another right away. And so no, it's still, it's not the right time. But like the second nap in this afternoon, I could see that no. I'm calm, they're calm, they're still fuzzy, they're quiet a little, little bit, but they can they can stay together right now. And Felicia could help you and Tina to calm down from that uh, from that disesperated cry that she just was crying. And okay, but because I, I really want one thing that I I'm I'm looking for very much during these day days is they need to they need to I need to feed them very well. They need to drink very well their milk. I need to do my best for the drink the whole bottle. Both. Because they need to be strong for pass through these difficulties, right? And the other thing is I'm trying to play with them, to be with them during the playtime and just don't put them in the play in the living room and just go to another room to do the the they work the stuff inside the house. No, it was just with them. Today that they could wash the dishes, could do a little bit more than the first and the second day. Yeah, uh, sometimes you can see how oh, that's a way a lot to work, but so worth it. It's so worth it because now the you see very soon that they are sleeping and with confidence and and more calm too, and confident that, confidence that they miss. They miss very much, very, very, very much the sooner. But it's not that they are like with nobody just alone or someone abandon, ab abandon them. And because, yeah, they, they're just born and in the hospital. People just give the sooner right away. The nurses, right? They give a sooner. And if they are our first children, and even if they maybe sooner is better than Tom, then it just. Leave the sooner then yeah, it's the first three days that they are without sooner, they are almost six months. Then the big thing is we not talk so much right now about why, like I say in the other videos, why I decided to win off the sooner uh, with six months. But we have a specialist that they say that's better with six months and I have one that I trust in her and trust in her work and I just I listen to her and I read a lot. And I just understand that now is the, the better time. Yeah. And I think that the flexibility is a word. word. And one thing is, all the babies, they're different. Yeah. 
They're twins, they're unique, they have lots of connections, but they're still different, right? They're still two persons. And because that, I'm saying, like, I, in some ways, I knew that Tientina takes longer to get over of this that loss feeling, right? The sooner. I knew that since the beginning, because I know my children too, right? Um, but I'd like just to say before we finish this part, and this part is each baby is different. Like you, I think that the, the the best activity of the moms is to do this this move this movement, like uh, help give a support, be there, and not to just leave them there alone, and not come back, be there, and not to just leave them alone, and come back help them like it's just this movement until they learn that they can do it, that they can sleep without the sooner it's not easy for them it's not easy for nobody it's a it's a change of course like I'll not need to get up in the, in the during the night to to look for the sooner to put, put the sooner in her mouth again no it's it will be over very soon it will be over and I just made this video because I truly believe that the power of love and the and the support is the best way for for all the children and for not just the children for for any person, right? For everybody. It's the best way in love and support and help them to show that you are there in their challenges, in their difficulties, in all stages all stages in their lives. And mom, you can do that. But first, let I say, remind you, you need be in, you need to be in the same page with your husband because you need um, his support or even his words. He's not during the day, but his words at night or his support at night. It's very important too. Or another person that's helping you to take care of the babies if you have someone I only have my husband at night and yeah and I hope that you can do this process very smoothly and that the, the Lord give you lots of strength for you and for your family and I just hope that your children can see your love even through this this challenge is difficult, yeah? It was very nice. And let me know how was your process, how was, how was your experience too. See you tomorrow. Let's see even how will be this tonight, yeah? This evening.